Hi everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Gnand Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to install virtual replication appliance on ESXi, each ESXi host. OK, and here is the agenda. Before we start the installation of VRA, we have to understand Jetto solution architecture first and followed by I will show you how to install virtual replication appliance VRA on each ESXi host. As we are aware, Jetto is a HPE company. OK, Havilet Packet Enterprise company. And the Jetto solution architecture. So this is the high level architecture. As per our previous session, we already observed how to install Jetto virtual manager on Windows Server. So in this session, I'm going to show you the second component within our architecture that is virtual replication appliance. How to install on each ESX host within your vCenter cluster level. OK, if you understand on one cluster level, the same procedure to on a DR site also. OK, so let's quickly log into our Zeto lab hands on labs. So let me select the full screen. So first we can launch the Zeto site. So enter our credentials. OK, and the password. OK, once the credentials are logged in, see we can see Jetto dashboard in our previous session. We noticed that uh, how to install the Jetto virtual manager and as well as we already paired our Jetto with a disaster recovery site. Both are in a pair. Uh, the easy understanding our primary site IP address is 192.168.311. That is our third octant triple one is production site. And if your third third octant triple two means it is a DR site. That is our easy understanding. Now I'm going to show you how we can install a replication appliance. So to, to do that within our budget dashboard, there is a tab for setup tab. If you go to the setup tab, you can see our Jetto Labs production cluster currently running with two ESXi host and this ESXi host vSphere version is 7.0. I will show you in a two methods. Method one, how to install VRA on single ESXi host. Suppose in future, if I'm adding a multiple ESXi host to Zetto cluster, how we can install a Zetto VRA on multiple ESXi host? That method also I will show you. So let's observe the first two method. I'm just enabling a specific one ESXi host to install VRA. In the right side, you can see new VRA. VRA means virtual replication appliance. So just click on new VRA, this plus icon. It's automatically mapped to our ESXi host. Whichever the ESXi host we select, that ESXi host is selected. Now host root password, this specific ESXi host password. Once the password is entered, we have to choose the data store and the network is VM. These are all the options, default options. No need to modify, keep it as it is. And when you see the address, the address also default, it selected one address. Let's say I'm choosing the address as uh, 21 already we given. So let's say we can choose based on the lab guide. So let me verify the lab guide address. Suppose if we go back to our VRA lab, they are given as per the lab guide, they have given the IP address is 32. OK. The first IP address they given as 21, so we'll use the 21. OK, let me select full screen and here you can choose the IP address as 21. OK, and the subnet mask and default gateway. All the IP settings we have to give as per the Jetto hands on lab guide. OK, now click on install. So installation, when you click on install, it will start installing the VRA status. See if you see under VRA status tab, installing is in progress. It may take a while to finish the installation. See currently installation is 10%. 
So once this ESXA host installation is completed, I will show you how we can install the same VRA on cluster level. Cluster level means if you select the cluster level, multiple ESXA host also we can install. OK, that is importance of second method. Once it is completed, I will show you the second method. It may take a while, 10%. In the meantime, I will show you the option how we can install on a cluster level. To do that, the recommendation is, if you see in the right side, there is a menu icon. Just click on menu icon and we can see the site settings. Click on site settings and under the site settings tab, you can look for a workload automation. When you see the workload automation tab, there is a separate tab enabled for VRA deployment cluster level. See, if you select this first option, enable VRA, that means virtual replication appliance, auto installation once the host is added to cluster. Even in future, if you add any additional host to this cluster, when you enable this option, the deployment will happen automatically. OK, so we have to tick this option and click on save. That is a recommendation. So once this 80% is complete, this is completed, we'll do the second host. So this VRA IP address, it's default, it's took from a subsequent series 192.168.311.21. Maybe the next to host, we may give the IP address starting from 22. OK, now the VRA status is showing as installed state. Now, if you want to do the second host one, instead of selecting the host level, you can select at the cluster level. When you select at the cluster level, the same procedure, but only thing is we have to give you a range. So you can enter the ESX host password. Once we enter the SX host password, you can use the default option data store network and VRA uh, replication appliance RAM and CPU default one. And the main key part is VRA network details. So network details, we have to provide a IP pool. Let's say, for example, it's automatically detected from 22 to 32. That means the subsequent IP, the 10 series of IPs are selected because we selected the cluster level. OK, even if you add the host until the 10 hosts also, the installation will do automatically. But for our, our testing purpose, I'm choosing from a one host only. OK, and the default gateway is our 192.168.11.254. Now click on install. So this method is installing from the cluster level. So within a few minutes, the even the second host installation also will start. In the right side, you can see two running tasks installing VRA 10%. You can see from here or you can monitor from the screen. VRA status is now 10%. Same method, we can install the VRA on a, our disaster recovery site as well. So I repeat, log into the Jetto console to installation method. Within the Jetto console, go to the setup tab. Under setup tab, you can see the multiple clusters, but our test lab, we have only one cluster running with the two hosts. So you can install in two methods. You can either you can choose cluster level, select VRA and install, or individual host select and select the plus symbol new VRA and install. Okay. Any method we can follow. And the key point is if you want to do the automatic install on cluster level, all the SX hosts, go right side, go to the menu and click on site settings under site settings select workload Aut automation wizard and here the vra deployment the first enable vra auto installation option should be enable okay so this option always keep it safe so it's 80 percent now ninety percent It will complete soon. Yeah, it's completed now. OK, so both ESX hosts within our Jetto lab production cluster, VRA status is installed. OK, 
So within our architecture, we noticed the two options ZVM. That means Zerto Virtual Manager, Zerto Virtual Replication Agent. So next session, I will show you how to prepare a protection group, virtual protection group, VPG. VPG also, if you log into our lab system, you can see there is a VPG tab virtual protection group. Currently, there is no virtual protection group. I will show you in the next session how to configure a VPG. Okay, so that's it for today. So this question we already verified just now. So thank you. Please do view, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Nan Cloud Garage. If you are already subscribed, thanks for your support and encouragement. Bye for now.